Hi everyone, I am I'm Martinez. My name is Estelle. Guess what? My next giveaway will be when I reach 500 subscribers. I'll be doing it during a live and I'll have 20 questions that I'll be asking you. So if you miss seeing my answers in the lives and premieres, I'll be doing them again in a premiere when I'm closer to that goal. So please share me out to help me get there. Good morning, everyone. I am Amartinez. My name is Itzel. It's Favorite Friday, so we're talking or chatting favorite shows. And I know my lighting's different. I'm playing with my ring light and playing with the different colors. So let's ask Siri to pick a number. Siri, pick a number between 1 and 36. What do you think it's going to be? Siri picked number two. I know. Sometimes Siri talks and sometimes Siri doesn't. She didn't talk today, but Siri said number two. Number two is One Tree Hill, one of my favorite shows. So if you don't know One Tree Hill, it, I believe, started as a WB show. And then, you know, the change became CW and came out early 2000s. It's about... So it's off about being basketball, and then you dive more into it. So it includes music as well, not just basketball. So the main characters are Lucas Scott, Peyton Sawyer, Brooke Davis, Nathan Scott, and Haley James. So there are other ones, but those are like the main main ones that the show mainly revolves around most of the time so yeah it takes place i think um north carolina which every state of the carolinas has charlotte that one i think it's north carolina so yeah let's get into the show i don't want to describe it too much um Let's see. I believe it's on Hulu and Max if you want to watch it. Now, uh, from correctly, Disney Plus bought Hulu. But from what I understand, the shows on there um, come with ads, the ones that they got from Hulu. So I don't know if you have a high enough whatever um, subscription. If you can avoid ads for those shows, let me know if you know. All right. Favorite characters. Lucas Scott. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure about him at first, but I just liked seeing that Lucas never gave up. No matter what come his way, what got thrown his way. He never gave up and he kept pushing forward no matter how hard life got. So I really like that. So every character is Keith Scott. Um, Keith was amazing. He was there for the love of his life, which is his brother's ex-girlfriend. And um, made sure that his nephew didn't lack the parental figure like for the, the dad. And he had that always that he instilled beliefs in him and taught him the best that he could. And I think it shows a lot in who Lucas is. And I just love that, that no matter what happened between his mom, like, you know, he was always there for Lucas. And I know he had to leave for a bit, but I think anyone that gets too overwhelmed with a crazy scenario would need time to collect themselves and, you know, deal with that emotionally and then come back, which he did. And I loved him for that. And, yeah, let's see. Um, Peyton. Peyton Sawyer. So, I like Peyton because she's very artistic and not just artistic. She's, like... Even though she's good at certain things, she's good at being a cheerleader, you know, she's good with, like, getting along with the job crowd and all of that. She's still her own person, and she 
accepts that and kind of thrives in that that you know she thinks of herself in a certain way but she can't help you know just being who she naturally is she's kind she's fun she's charismatic and when we get to know her um her birth mother completely understandable why she's like that too so yeah and even though she had kind of not even a midlife crisis, kind of like a crisis in your 20s, which I think a lot of people do have, and just not knowing what the heck you're doing, and it's normal for a lot of people, and then she finally was able to come out of that and, you know, push forward and get stuff done and accomplish a lot, and I like that. I like that message. Brooke Davis, I have so many favorite characters. I wasn't sure about Brooke, she just started off as like, you know, just the fun party girl. And as the show went on, she showed what she was capable of, what she, she was capable of leading people and being able to, you know, fire, put a fire under people's butts to get them, you know, to really get stuff done. And she built a fashion empire. And it's like at really, really long, young age at her early 20s. And it's just like, wow. And I think it sends a great message that if you set your mind to anything, like, you really want it, you really keep pushing forward, you can get it. So I love that. Um, Nathan. Nathan Scott, I really came around to him. I wasn't sure about him at first. You know, he was the bad boy. And it was just like, um, sometimes you don't know about them. But yeah, he... um. I was actually incredibly kind and caring and just devoted to his family. And I really like that about him. I really like, you know, he had his moments. Like, so many people in the show had their moments. But even though it was dark, he was able to come out of it and push through all of it and come out on top. So I think that's amazing. So, yeah. I'm going to just keep naming characters. But, um... Mouse. Mouse is another fair character. I've loved so much of the main cast. Um, who's Marvin McFadden. Like, he had his mindset that, you know, he wanted to be a sports uh, caster. Is that how you say that? Um, but because of his looks, and I don't think he's unattractive at all, but they try to make him feel like he couldn't at first, and he just kept, you know, pushing forward and keep trying and um, he ended up losing his job at one point because he stood for his beliefs and would not report a story that was obviously a lie that didn't have the truth behind it. Like, they didn't investigate. It was just like, oh, we're going to say this, possibly ruin someone's career and whatever. And it's just like, he's like, I'm not going to do that. So well, he ended up being unemployed for a while. And... Yeah, luckily, he was able to come back from that no matter how hard it was. Okay, last favorite character, the last favorite character, Julian, Julian Baker. Um, I wasn't sure about him at first when he showed up, but I came to really, really like Julian Baker. And he was just, like, kind of the oddball, odd, like, he was so, like, silly. And it's just, like, you didn't know what he was up to. And... Over time, like, he's, like, very charming. Not just charming, but he's there for his friends no matter what. And he'll give all the support he needs and he'll help any way that he can. And I love that. I love that he won the group over by showing them he was there, he was present, and he wasn't going to go anywhere, and he was someone that they could depend on. And I think that's amazing. Because he wasn't like the rest of them, you know. He wasn't, you know, all about sports, very sporty, very musical. He was like um, a producer, now a director. And, yeah, so he was kind of different than the rest of them. He wasn't, didn't really fit into that niche. But he won them over, and I think that that's good. And it just shows you you don't have to, you know, have, like, the main interest of all your friends to get along with them. So, yeah. Least favorite characters. Dan Scott. Anybody going to argue with me? 
I liked him towards the end, how, you know, he got his redemption for all the horrible things that he's done. But just through most of the show, making wrong decision after wrong decision and trying to blame other people and not taking accountability for it, I didn't like that. I didn't like, you know being horrible to your son's bosses on the one that you rejected and the one that you put your thumb on, like, I didn't like that. I didn't like, you know, what he did to Keith. I didn't like that, you know, he went so long to even come forward and he only came forward when he was caught, essentially. So there's so much about him I didn't like. I did like that he saved his grandson and his son. I do like that. I do like that when it comes down to it, he loves his family, at least Nathan and them. I'm not sure if he would do the same for Lucas, probably. Yeah. That song, Hard to Love. Can you put that for him? Like, definitely. Let's see. Other least favorite characters. Felix. I didn't like Felix. I didn't like him at all. Like, I'm not a big fan of season two, mainly because of Felix. Like, I get, you know, being in a new area and, like, having to prove yourself. But writing that malicious word on Peyton's locker with spray paint, like, spray painting it on there, just because you're trying to protect your sister when it's like it doesn't seem like that it just seems like you were trying to hurt her and you you thought because she's probably not that but she's like giving off some of those behaviors that you're gonna put that word on her locker and like whatever like no that's not okay and I'm glad he got in trouble for it and I'm glad his sister threw him under the bus (laughs) all right do I have any other least favorite characters? Um, Psycho Derek. What was his name? Ian. Ian. I can't remember the last part. But that crazy soccer that um, Peyton had. I did not like him at all. Like, because she ended up looking just like his ex-girlfriend. He wanted just to be nutty. Like, ugh. yeah, no, I didn't, did not like him at all. And um, I did not like Chris Keller. I came around to him at the end, you know, after he showed, you know, he could be a friend too. Some of the stuff is just like, mm, like, he's like, I guess he can be your friend, but it's like, you kind of want to be worried about him. But it's just like, after you scrape off all like the garbage parts of his personality, he's not so bad. Um... And I didn't like him because, you know, he got in between a marriage, you know, when he showed up. And he didn't seem to care at all at first. And then later on, I don't think he'd do it again. Like, he made jokes, but I don't think he was serious. So, what did I dislike about the show? Season 2. I just wasn't a fan of that. I wasn't a fan of Felix. I wasn't a fan of, like, you know, trying to, like, manipulate Dan, I, I do think he needed to pay for all the bad things that he was doing at the time. Um, just wasn't my favorite part of this show. Why would I recommend the show? If you love music, you like basketball, you like drama, um, and you don't mind seeing uh, people come from their teen years into their adulthood, I definitely recommend Once Your Hell. You will not be disappointed one bit. It's one of my favorite shows. I love it a lot. And I was watching it recently. I stopped because, spoiler, spoiler alert, um, I didn't like, you know, when Peyton and Lucas were never, like, no longer a part of the show. So, yeah, that part's hard for me, but I come around as it progresses. So, yeah, I typically stop watching for a bit, you know, watch other stuff, get my fill in of shows and get really happy and then watch it till it gets to the point you know where I like it a lot and I start liking it a lot more um once we get closer to like um Brooke get married 
and I already warned you spoilers. So I hope you liked this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. What show will be next? And starting um, next week, I'll have a new intro for my videos. So look forward to that. Bye.